Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, it's Antonia. I hope you guys are doing well. Today's video is all about this little baby here. So you would have seen a few weeks ago that I did a unboxing of this little makeup bag that I converted into a purse and I've been loving this bag. It is one of my most used bags at the moment now. I freaking love this item. So this is the Longchamp Le Pliage makeup pouch and I converted it into a bag. I put a little Hermes Twilly on there. What's great about this Twilly is that it has Harbalino on it. Like look that's Harley. There's other dogs but they've been intertwined in there and then on the side it just says Hermes Paris. I really like that. So if you're a dog person like me, maybe look into this item. I don't know if it's online. I actually have no idea what the name of it is. If I can find it, I'll definitely link it. But the PS de resistance on why I was able to convert this into a shoulder bag, crossbody bag, is the pieces behind here. So if you follow me on TikTok, which you should, because I already posted this video because it was going, like this bag was going viral on TikTok then you should follow me there because it's just much easier for me to post those things on there. But essentially I got these two pieces from AliExpress that go underneath here. So I'll take one off just to show you guys. Um, hopefully you can see. So basically it snaps undone and this is what it looks like. So this is what the piece looks like. It comes like this. Like when I got it, it looks like this. It has this like little nub piece and then there is this and it just folds and it just snaps into place and then there's a d-ring that's attached i love this version because i'm able to convert this bag without actually damaging or altering it i'm seeing a lot of people buying those belt converters so they punch holes in the sides of the bag and then they put grommets on there so that way the leather doesn't fray and then they wear it crossbody this way. I don't think it looks as good as it does when it's crossbodied with the back on the back handle. I also find that without these um, pieces placed inside the handle is too heavy for this bag so it actually helps with the structure when I add these pieces in so I'm going to show you guys how I add it in. It's honestly, it's not a rocket science. It's very, very simple. So you can see that this nub piece, it's actually going to go up into the handle here. Cause you can see that there's like, not a hole, but like a hole where it cinches in. So I never take this off. So let's see. The nub piece goes up in there and then it's going to go and then this just goes across. So I folded it over and then it just snaps into place and then I cover it. It doesn't even need to be covered. It doesn't look ugly and it's so secure. It's fine. AliExpress seller actually I don't know what happened to the site. It's gone and I'll probably just link another one. I think they're all about the same anyways, but it was about $30 to purchase this item and I accidentally bought the strap. It was a little bit too short, but now I'm obsessed with it. I just wear it as a shoulder bag. I'm literally obsessed with it as a shoulder bag and if I do want it to be cross body, I can just use one of my like gold um, next fashion chains that I have because they're just so high quality. Anyways, shout out to next fashion, by the way, Paul, if you're watching, hi. So this is what my bag looks like. I also want to mention that these pieces, because they came from AliExpress, like obviously the seller is in China. So it took about like three weeks for it to ship to me. The bag itself, I got the next day because obviously I got it from like Longchamp Canada. So they shipped it to me priority the next day. The listing actually came with the strap. It was, I think $30. It came with the strap. If you don't want the strap, like you don't have to buy it. I think it's like about $10. And then you can get these two pieces to help you um, convert your makeup bag into a crossbody bag. I think like the strap is just a nice addition to have. If you paid a little bit more, I think like $5 more, you could get a cross body strap. I actually didn't realize I purchased this one specifically until it came and I was like, 
why is the strap so small? But I actually really like the length of it. I like wearing it as a shoulder bag. I get so many compliments on this bag um, and people just don't even realize that it is a Longchamp Le Pliage, which is really funny. They, they just see it and they're like, oh my God, like that's a really cute bag. Where'd you get it from? And then I explain to them it's actually a makeup bag and then you need to buy these pieces to convert it. I didn't have to pay any additional duties on the item. It just took three weeks and I had free shipping with that specific seller but my specific seller that I bought it from is gone now like the whole listing is gone I'm sure you could just go on to any of the sellers and purchase it they're probably all about approximately the same I will list them in the information bar below I'm gonna show you guys what it fits so first things first I have my wallet this is a Chanel card holder it is quite thick if you have something a little bit thinner than I do it would be perfect but this is just what I use and I love my Chanel card holder so I never change out my wallet ever that's my favorite wallet ever and then I have a Bastia coin purse and then I have, okay, so like my phone, I have a regular iPhone, it fits in there really perfectly. And then I have a ton of Tylenol because I always get headaches. I get pressure headaches all the time from like rain and stuff. And then my Aesop, what do you call this? Hand sanitizer that Lauren got me, so bougie. And two lip balms, so one's from Bioderma and then this one is actually by Smith's. Really great lip balm actually, I really like that lip balm. So that's everything that fits inside, there's nothing else. I really love how I converted the bag without altering it, it's really great. And yeah, I've seriously been using this so much that I was like, I should think about getting other colors. I wish they made it in the gray that I have. Like I have a matching backpack and like large Le Pliage tote bag. So I wish they made it in that color. I don't think they make that color anymore. It's so gorgeous though. Um, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend. I've had these little additional like pieces for about a month or over a month now. So I have no problems with them. They've held up really great. And I think it's a fantastic option versus permanently altering your bag. Because if worst case scenario, I ever didn't want to use this as a bag anymore. I mean, granted, if you didn't want to use it as a bag anymore, you can definitely just take it off and then you'd have two grommets on the side, which you can use as bags. I just prefer not to convert my items. They're brand new, so why? Why ruin the piece when you don't have to do that? You know what I mean? But yeah, I think the Twilly makes it so much cuter. It's giving uh, Kelly vibes without the Kelly price tag. <laughs> oh, I just love it so much. And yeah, I've just been, I've literally been wearing this bag more than any other handbag that I own right now. It's crazy. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed my little review. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to follow me on Instagram, underscore Hello Harley. Follow me on TikTok at Hello Harley, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!